Hey guys, welcome to this video. This is a re-upload of a video that I made earlier. Unfortunately, I made a mistake in that video. Basically, it I thought that it was trying to follow a workflow and it wasn't. So I'm gonna try again with anti-gravity following workflows now that I saw that mistake. And I'm also gonna combine that with skills to see if we can create something truly special. Now I have everything set up already, but basically all you have to do is go to this GitHub repo and grab one of my Claude agent skills. So you go to the branches right here. You can go to design agent for, for example, Let's go to my directory builder, which is what I want to actually test and what I wanted to test last time. Hey guys, before continuing, a quick word from our sponsor, me. HarborSEO.ai is currently free. It's version two. I've worked on it for months and months now. And the thing is a hundred times more powerful than it was. With updates to the writer, researcher, linker, scout, which is a new thing. And also featured images using nano banana. Also, a very, very nice new feature is the link bait builder, which can get you thousands of backlinks and traffic to specific pages. And if you need a little bit more help with SEO, you can also claim a 50% offer for backlinks by using half price links. And you can see here, you can get 50% off the first three months of a manual link building campaign. Thanks for the attention. Let's jump back into things, right? So you can go to dot Claude, go to Claude.md and just copy this entire thing right here. And then just go to your agent, go to customizations, workflows, and then create a workflow. Put the name SEO designer.md, whatever comes up here, right? So that was the mistake that I made, I believe. And then all you do is you do slash SEO designer, make me a directory for Irish golf tournaments. Right, and then I wanna see how well this follows what it's supposed to do, right? So let's just watch this for two seconds. Okay, perfect. So it's following the workflow this time. So it's asked me for my Gina API key, design preferences, number of items. So I'm just gonna put all that information there real quick. One thing I'm gonna say is please use my skill to do the front end. Okay, so I'm trying to combine skills and workflows together right now. So the first thing it's going to do is it's going to do Gina research, which is exactly what I need it to do. Okay, so this is literally perfect so far, guys, I have to say. Okay, so you can see it's selected tectonic grassland slabs as the design theme. So it's using the skill perfectly. I'm quite excited to see the result of this, guys, honestly. Okay, guys, so I haven't really talked about this much, but we can add something else here. So right now we have the skills, we have the workflow. We have the Next.js website and we have the data. Just hear me out for a second. What if we added one more thing, which was an interface to talk with DigitalOcean? What would that mean? That would be like having lovable.dev on your computer inside either anti-gravity or Claude code. This is all completely possible as of today. All you would do is add a new file, call it like DigitalOcean interface, and then you go to npmjs.js com or .org, I think it's .com. Type in DigitalOcean in the search, find DOTS wrapper, right? Add all of these different things like an MCP, and then it can literally launch applications for you as well. Okay, so it seems to have done the kind of design. I think it's gonna ask me what I think of it. Absolutely love the design. It's insanely good actually. So let's just see localhost 3000. Damn, that is uh, pretty nice, I have to say. This looks probably the most directory that I've actually had when I've done this kind of test. And then, yeah, the, this is the individual page as well. Really, really nice, actually. Wow. Imagine this, but you're paying for it and it can do nano banana for everything. Crazy, crazy level of, of uh, detail that this will be. So each of these images would all be separate. So yeah, you could add to this workflow, like I was saying before, like a stage where it would actually launch the website. That's perfectly possible. The way that I just said, set up a DigitalOcean interface where it's just code, where it's like it can call any tool inside that file, right? It's crazy what you can do with this, guys. I'll, I'll be talking about that soon if people want me to. Um, but I mean, that was like six minutes. It followed the workflow pretty carefully, to be honest, and it used the skill as well to create the actual design. So yeah, actually really, really impressed. 
and this is much better than the original test that I did. So I am going to re-upload this, guys. But for now, I'll leave the video there. Thank you so much for watching. That was literally five minutes, guys, not even that. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. You can find everything in the description. Just read the description. Thanks for watching. Peace out.